Okay, this is the fifth video segment that I'm doing, and it would involve uh, the concept of welding, spot welding, seam welding, and surface welding. In uh, Katia, when you have an assembly, and that assembly is meshed with solid tetrahedral elements, okay? So uh, here's the situation. I have a plate at the bottom. That's one part. I have a, you know, a, a, a shaft there, as you can see, part of a shaft up there as a second part. And the, the bottom of these things, the bottom of these things are going to be spot welded or, uh, or uh, seam welded or, uh, or s uh, surface, uh, uh, surface welded. Okay. And then this end is clamped and on the top we apply a force. So I'm going to close this. All right, I'm going to close that without worrying about too much about dimensions. I'm going to make this thing from scratch. So let's start with a product file. Uh, file, new product. Okay, insert new part in there. And I'm going to call this thing the base or the plate at the bottom, okay? So uh, properties, I'm going to call this thing right, right here. So uh, base, base, and base. Okay, uh, let's make it. Something very simple on a convenient plane. On that plane, I will sketch. Okay, uh, sketch a rectangle like that. Exit. Okay, exit. Pad it. I don't know. Make it a hundred. Like this. 200. All right, good. So this is going to be the base. So on top of that, then I'm going to draw that uh, thing that I showed you. So on that face, I will sketch. Well, first of all, insert. Insert a new part in there. And I'm going to call this thing the tower. How about that? Properties. Uh, tower. Tower. Okay, good, let's make. So on that face, I will sketch uh, something that uh, actually, uh, look what I showed you. So uh, some, how about, uh, yeah. The different ways of doing it, it's really, that's not really the point here. So let me, uh, Draw the line. Okay. And let's clean it up. So let's get rid of the stuff that I don't want. Uh, I don't want this. I don't want that. Not that. Not that. Anything that I don't want, I'm going to get rid of. All right, exit and pad it the other way. Okay, now uh, I made it so that, by the way, I don't need any assembly constraints, so just leave it like this. Now, keep in mind that uh, if you're going to do spot welding, seam welding, and surface welding, you need to uh, put these points or lines or surface in a geometric set in one of the parts. So I'm in the tower now. Might as well go ahead and do that right now. So insert geometric set. This first one, I'm going to call it points. Okay. And which points I want? Let me suppose that the, it's spot welded at these bottom corners. Okay. The bottom corners. Let me hide this. At these bottom corners. Let's say they're spot welded. So uh, uh, let me see. Now, uh, 
I want to get these four points. Okay, these are vertices. I understand, but I want to put it in there. So the best way, the best way to do that is go to generative shape design and say extract, because I don't know what these coordinates are. Otherwise, I could have done it. So we go to extract. You see that? Extract. So this point and that point. I guess you uh, you have to do it either one at a time or do a multi extract here. If I click on this, see that? Click on that, then you can do it as as a group. So this one and that one. If I knew what the coordinates are, I could have created the points like that, but this is not. All right, good. So there are four points here, and these four points are the extracts that I made, the points that I extracted. Okay, let's do another geometric set. Insert geometric set. I'll call it uh, uh, lines. And while I'm here, I'm going to extract these edges. Okay, so uh, extract once again. And since I want to do two of them, so I'm going to extract this edge and this edge. If if these were if if the other two edges were also spot uh, seam welded, well, I would do the same thing. Okay, good. So here is is these two two curves. And finally, I'm going to extract the bottom face. Okay, the bottom face. So insert geometric set surface. Surface, extract this bottom surface. Okay, good. All right. There's a bottom surface. Okay, so let's uh, apply material. Let's say that this entire assembly is made out of uh, steel. The entire assembly, all the parts are all made out of steel. Make it uh, steel right there, and uh, we're good. So, why don't we save this thing? File, save management, uh, save as desktop, new folder, September 8, 2019. Oops. <laughs> 2019. All right, let me get this uh, part that I hit also in the front. Okay, good. So now we're going to go to uh, uh, generative structure analysis. Katia sees two parts immediately, it meshes it. So why don't I make this? Uh, this one is small enough, but this one I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'll make it eight. Okay. And let's look at our mesh. Right there. All right. Deactivate the mesh. Uh, why don't I do actually the loads first, and then we do the connections and the, 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 the weldings. So uh, we said that uh, I want this end to be clamped. And we want some kind of a force up there in a given direction. Uh, let's say direction, I don't know why, perhaps uh, 100 Newtons. I'll make this thing zero. So right, right there, give it a force in this direction. All right. Now we're going to create our connection. Now this is an assembly, right? So if it's an assembly, then uh, uh, you need to use the first icon, not the second one. This is a single part. So I click on this. So uh, first component is, for example, this mesh. Second component is that part. And for the points, you have to go and select that extract uh, uh, all those extracted points. So let's see now, it was in the tower and it was uh, under this uh, uh, geometric set. Okay, all of these points that were extracted are going to be used. And in anticipation of doing a uh, seam welding and surface welding, let's also do the, uh, the uh, uh, 
the lines. So first component, second component, this order is not important. And for the lines, it's going to be the extracted extracted uh, lines right here. You have to pick them one by one. Okay, so this one, I have to do it twice because there's two things that are going to get uh, seam welded. Uh, another one, so one, two, and the second extract right here. And finally, for surface welding, this is an assembly, so use the icon to the left. That one, and this one, and the extract that I made for that surface at the bottom. Very good. Okay, so now we define the type of problem that you want to do. Let's say that you wanted to do the, the um, what is it called, the uh, spot welding. Okay, so we're going to go select the spot welding icon, spot welding icon, and we go and select the connection that we created, which is appropriate for that particular type, which is the first one. And rigid, the simplest type of uh, spot welding that we can do. And hopefully we didn't forget anything, and we're going to run it. Okay, let's look at the deformation. There we are. Okay. Now let's do the seam welding. So I'm going to go to the properties. You have to go to properties and delete the spot welding property from here. And then we do seam welding. There's a seam welding. And select the appropriate uh, connection. There's two, two seam welded uh, 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 lines. So one is this, rigid, and another one is the second one. Notice that it puts these uh, icons here to remind you that it is seam welded. Okay, and uh, run it. Done. Look at the deformation. Nothing fancy, it's just that the way these are attached to each other is different through seam welding. Okay, to do the uh, to do the surface welding, you go here and delete these from the properties. You have to delete it. We cannot delete it from here. Look, you cannot delete it. You have to do it from properties. Delete and delete. And now go to surface welding. And obviously, it's going to be this guy. Now, remember, we can't close it because we have to define the properties of that uh, surface welding. So cancel that. Define a material property. Uh, I think I put steel on this, so let's put steel on the, on, on, uh, on the material property for seam welding or for uh, surface welding also, right there. And now we're going to do surface welding. The connection is right here. Uh, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong stuff. Service welding. We already have the connection right there. You select the uh, connection right there, and uh, user defined, select it from the tree, and you close that, and you close this, and you run it. A word of caution, surface welding does not work. You can see why. Let me, let me fit this, use the default scale to see this. There's, it does not see it, see it as a rigid body. Where are these things? Uh, just a second. There. You see, it's going to move as a rigid body. I could not make surface welding connection work for an assembly made of solid, solid objects. And sometimes, even for a single part, it doesn't work. My, my guess is that they didn't put enough effort to do that for a good reason, because how can you possibly 
surface weld, something like that to the bottom base. Surface welding in that context becomes really gluing it. And this is not fair. You can, you can seam weld it, you can spot weld it, but I don't think you can surface weld it and glue it. And although I could make it work in the previous video segment, which was a single part, uh, those two places where, uh, you know, uh, surface welded together, uh, it doesn't always work and it doesn't make sense. Okay? So, that's the catch. Okay. Now, I want to do, I want to tell you that this guy, this guy, however, works, and I will do it in a separate video segment for you this fellow, this fellow, which is not really welding, but this this and, and the counterpart of it there, which is called node-node connection property. Notice that it's not even in the weld toolbar. 